Hello, hello, good evening. Okay, we are five already. Let's just wait a little bit for the rest. Hey, Jose Antonio, how are you? Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Mm. No bad, teacher. Huh? No, so, not, so, so, not bad. Not bad, but yeah. sort of good. Okay. I am busy. My brother died. Wait, your brother died? Yes, Monday. Sorry to hear that. Oh my God. It's really bad news. I'm sorry to hear that. He's in a better place. It's for sure. Well, thank you for being here. I know it's going to be difficult. Okay, I only have two students right now. Everybody else has its camera off. Come on, guys. Get ready, please. We are 10. And it's 8.02 already, so let me do the attendance so we can get this going. I have Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Yes. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. There she is. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. He's there too. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Yeah. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Guerrieta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Today. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. For today's class, let's start with a short activity. 
Okay, let's see if you can do this. I need one verb, but please don't say cook, play, jump, study, uh, run, eat. No, you're in intermediate four, so go ahead, go to the chat and write one verb. You cannot repeat. You cannot repeat the verb of your classmate. Just write one verb, win. Hey, nice, positive, win. Water. <laughs> okay, water. Uh-huh. Forget about the basic verbs. Come on. Climb. Okay. Uh, that's kind of basic. Uh-huh. I only have three. Yeah, Erwin, I got you. Okay, write a verb. Fernando, bleed. Just one, just one verb. Oh, Erwin. Okay. Yeah, Fernando. Just one. Bleed. Okay. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Is uh, is uncomfortable a verb? No. no. That's a difficult word, but it's not a verb. Paint. Paint? Ah, no, dog. Something more difficult. Mm. Well, join. Okay. It's just one verb for each student. Come on. Come on, come on. Absorb. Okay. Join. Absorb. Okay. Let me see what we got so far. So we have wind, water, mind, bleed, pain, joy. Sore. Fine. <clears throat> That's it. I'm still missing some of some of the students. Jose, Jose Antonio, um, Jose Alberto, Johnny. I think you haven't sent a, a verb. Yeah, present teacher. <laughs> no, come on. A verb. Hunt. Hunt. Justify. Is that a verb? Yeah, and justify, wow. Sweep, okay, good. This is what we have so far. Wind, water, climb, bleed, paint, join, absorb, find, hunt, justify, sweep, cry. If you won the lottery, you could water all the plants in your city, maybe climb a hill, but then you will be bleeding, you will be bleeding. And then all your clothes will be painted with your blood. Then you will need to join with someone to carry you to the hospital. At the hospital, they may absorb all of your blood, you know, to donate it to someone else. And they may find someone to donate the blood to. Hunting people nowadays is not difficult to donate blood, but then they have to justify why are they needing the blood. And sometimes you have to sweep any evidence of donating blood as well. And when you donate blood and with all the injuries that you had because you fall from, you fell from the climb from climbing uh, you will be crying <gasps> can you do that come on <laughs> so 
I'm just gonna give you a few minutes with all these verbs that you got. Surprise me, try to use um, models, models with all these verbs. Really quick, turn on your microphones. Turn on your microphones and tell me the meaning. I'm just gonna do this on a one board. Okay, give me the meanings of the following uh, verbs. I'm sorry, it's not verse. Okay, give me the meaning. Uh-huh. Do it, yeah. Excellent. Next. Poder. Yeah, next. Podría. Podría. Huh? Podría. 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 Podría, okay, good. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah. Okay. Hmm. Debería. Debería, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Podría. Uh -huh. That's right. Out of your control. <sighs> okay. Okay, what about, <coughs> mm -hmm. what? Ria. What? Ria. Ria, yeah, Ria, right? Probability. Okay, so just remember the meaning of each one. When do we use should? Why do we use should? Or advice and and uh, suggestions. Condition. Suggestions. Okay. Suggestions. You okay. should take a shower, Fernando. You should take a shower. When do we use can? Abilities. 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 What things that you can do or not? Okay. What else can you use instead of can? A skill. Be able. Excellent. Be able. Yeah. Be, be able. able. Be able. If you want to talk with Ken in the future, is impossible. So you need to use that. Be able to. Okay. Be able to. I'm able to. You're able to. She is able to. He's able to. You're able to. Could, will. Okay. Might, would. And I think that's it, right? What's the meaning of May? Again? It's like a camp, but more polite. Okay. More probability. And yes, it's can, but more polite when you do requests or you ask for permissions or you're granted permission. May I go to the, bar to the restaurant? May I go to the restaurant, right? Okay, and the last one, very important, must. Mm -hmm. Deber. Deber, responsibility, right? To have to, to have to, but with more responsibility. This is the, the biggest imperative that you have. Okay, take a screenshot if you want, take a screenshot. Now using these models, try, try to include them, try to include them on your story, okay? I need you to build a story with the verbs that you got on your on your chat in Zoom. Okay. You see? Okay. Easy. Okay, that easy it is. Should, can, could, will, might, would, may, must. Okay. An example with might out of your control.
It might. Right. It might rain. Can you control the rain? No, right? Okay. But can you say it could rain? Can you say it could no. rain? No, right? It's not appropriate to say it could rain. Okay, so let's go. Let's work in as teams. Oh my God, I sent everything to Irwin again. Hold on. Here we go. So let's get together and make up a story. Be creative, guys. Try to use the models, simple present, present continuous. You have seen so many grammar. I mean, so much grammar, I'm sorry. You have seen so much grammar so far. Try to be creative, okay? Let's do it. Let's go. Son um, the model auxiliary. Yeah. And we have to create a story with the birds that every everyone says or write and write in the chat. Oh, okay. I don't know if the you if, if you take uh, the screenshot. It's on your Zoom chat. No, I don't. It's on the on your on your Zoom chat. You can check the Zoom chat. Okay, my and, Zoom chat is empty. Oh, because you just. Came in. Okay. Heidi, can yes, you, for, can you, is. well, I'm going to forward it. Hold on. Yeah. 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 The first one, right? We work like I, I made a, I made a story. Did you hear it? Yeah, so with simple. the, that is. <laughs> Okay, be creative. That's all the that's the whole point. Be creative. Okay. And please use connectors, connectors of result. Remember what we saw yesterday? Okay. I want to I want to win this the next soccer match in for I I am planning to, to I'm planning to bring, to bring water the next the next soccer match. And water. if okay, and if uh, we, we we will win the next match, we will climb to the second place. Uh, I was uh, I was a, a little concerned because uh, a, thing, a teammate uh, was bleeding. Was bleeding because a uh, hit that he received, and me parece que ahí tenemos que ir uniendo cosas. ¿Qué más puedo poner? Meter pintura ahí, pintar. And I. Mm -hmm. 
eh, ah, no sé, le echaron algo en, la, en el golpe y se le pintó de tal color. Y lo unieron con una mariposa de algodón. Pero así, le estaba explicando en español, después lo voy a pasar en inglés. <risa> eh, usamos algodón para absorber la sangre que le estaba saliendo y no le, y no le encontrábamos. Azar. Puchica, ¿y ¿Cómo carajo metes? Pero hay muchos de los Ay, sí, ya, ya me fue. Um, okay, I'm going to write the story and please, Fernando, tell us uh, so, so slow, so slowly, please. Uh, I, I was inventing the history. I, I didn't remember uh, exactly that I said, but I don't know. Uh, uh, I have, I have a, a soccer team, and I want to win the next match. Mm -hmm. We are going to bring water to the to the soccer match. Water, but but water is a bear. And, ah, water is a bear. Yeah, no, uh, no. Yes, yes. Uh, to use like a bear. Um, I hope that. Uh -huh. Translate the water bear. Is fregar. Mm. And you hope that. That I, uh, I will pay my house and I will make fix this, this one. Yes. And I will sleep when in the class. So easy. Okay. Yes. Other, other, other guys. Guys, another? Hello. Is the bird is queen water clean bear? Um, uh, uh, pain. So, after pain, pain. Many person will find a new work. Many people. Many people will find will like to find a new work. Yeah. The pronunciation sweet is sweet. The pronunciation of Barret sweet. 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 I don't like sweet. The floor of my house, but I need to do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I, I gotta do it. Okay. Okay, the other man, guys. Uh, the may the may know uh justify um, the office.
como resultado de esa dieta. Okay. <clears throat> Is Luis here? Alexander? Yeah. Okay, how are you doing? Can hear you. Jose, can you hear me? Uh, I have some problems. Yes. Uh, so it's me. I can I I can see myself talking. Okay. Uh, what about? Uh, I can't hear you, but uh, maybe you know. No, no. Can you hear me? Ahí lo dejamos, Yes, yes. I... Alexander, can you hear me, please? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm not able to hear you, okay. Okay. Yes, actually, I am using mobile data. And you know what? Because I uh, have no internet right now. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Can, you, yes. can you say something, please? I'm not able to hear you. Yeah. I have problem because what would I say? That's I can hear you now. I can hear you now. I just fix it. Okay, so how are you doing with building the story? Uh, we were talking about 100 hour. Okay, in Salvador, Honduras. Was a, as a result of political intervention between both countries. No, no,
pusimos un fire. Okay, eh, what about hunt? Hunt. Hunt. Okay, como nos faltan, vamos a ver. Solo nos falta Hunt, Justify, los últimos tres. The last, the last one. The last three verbs. Mm. Teacher, how do you say grillo? Sounds like a ground. A grasshopper. 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 Ah, hopper. Saltamonte. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can hear it. Okay. You say cricket. Cricket okay. for video and grasshopper for There's a difference. Okay, the meaning of hunt, cazar. ¿Cómo digo mientras? Will. While. Meanwhile, yes. While, mean. Meanwhile, while. Okay. While we was cleaning, my cat we were. was hunt. We were cleaning. A mouse. A mouse. I was cleaning while we we were <laughs> while we we were cleaning. Uh -huh. uh, my cat was a uh, hunt a uh, mouse. Mouses. <laughs> Hunting a mouse. <laughs> hunting a mouse or hunting mouse? Hunting. What's hunting? Hunting a mm -hmm. mouse. My cat was hunting. Okay. Ah, ahora que falta que ver. What's the next? Next one. Justify. Yeah. Justify. Justify. Mm. Maybe I was uh, blah, 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 blah. angry with my cat, but my son justified uh, that hunting mouse is important it's dangerous for and that the mouse could eat the, the lottery ticket right the lottery ticket yes my son justified The cat. So she put it a ticket, that lottery ticket. It, it put a lottery ticket. Okay. Uh, to, at the end, we can say that this 
swept, I swept the whole house until I found the Lord. Sweep. Sweep is the maybe the next verb. Is barrer, sweep. Sweep barrer. Okay, and then when the soccer play, soccer play finish, all the fans is going to be barriers. Maybe to say, and we go to a. No, que te. Eh, pero antes de todo tenemos que preparar. Podemos decir, pero antes de todo tenemos que preparar el campo de fútbol y barrer los graderíos. Ah, y ahí que termina. Pero en inglés. But before that, we, we, we have can, to we, we have to sweep. No, we have to prepare the soccer field to the match and sweep the. How do you say? Gradas or graderías de. Before the play, we need. Maybe upstairs. Uh, pleasures. Shelf. Mm, shelf. Pleasures. Pleasures. Letters. Okay. If you say le le but, leather, but, uh, leather, uh, ladder, ladder, the, uh, ladder, uh, <laughs> ladder, 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 to the match. To the match. So, to the match, uh, cleaning the soccer field and sweeping the pleasures. Until, yeah, until I, I found it. I find, I, I, I find, I find, I find the lottery. Okay, uh, Heidi, can you read mm -hmm. all the story, please? Mm. Okay. I won the lottery and I lost the ticket when I was watering the plants. I climbed the stairs and I tried to find it. I was going so fast that I fell down and my knee was bleed, bleeding. I painted the floor with my blood. <laughs> I took a white towel to absorb the blood. My son joined me cleaning up the floor. While we were cleaning, my cat was hunting a mouse. My son justified the cat because he could, because the mouse would eat the lottery ticket. I said the whole house until I found the lottery ticket. And that's it. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Hey. Teacher, the yeah. past tense of sweep is swept. Swept. S W E P T. Swept. Sweep, swept. Okay. Swept. I'm just sweeping under the carpet. I hope that I can turn out the time to make it all alright. That's a nice song. Okay. So Which you're done. Which song is that one? That's called Middle. Middle. Yes, we're done. What? Nope. Didn't get that. No? Okay. Middle. Yeah, I, I have to be on top mm. of kids' music, you know. And that's not so recent. Middle by... I can't remember the name of the band. Hmm. Okay, so you're ready. Yep. Okay. Ready, yeah. yeah. I think that... What is it? The cricket is... Speaking in English. <laughs> it's so loud. He's speaking in Russian because I don't understand. 
<laughs> That's Chinese. Okay. Good job. Let's go. Okay, we're almost done, right? We're almost back. Just waiting for your classmates. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, show me what you got. Let me see, let me think, let me see. So in the first group, no, I'm gonna start from the bottom. Uh, group number four, Alexander, Andres Giovanni, Luis Ernesto, and Rene. Okay, About the 100 or more between Duras and Alexander. Was an open conflict that occurred between July 14 and in 1969 between the Republic of El Salvador and Honduras. As a result of political tensions that exist, between both countries. It was also known as the soccer war for the for a game that was played in that year. That is why it was also called the soccer war. As a consequence of the war, there were between 400 and 6,000 people killed. Mm -hmm. Only that picture. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of fireworks in your place because of the uh, town hall celebration, right? Yes, uh, it's too much. Okay. Are those Cuete de Vara? De Vara, de Cueva, de Cueva, por la China, de Puerta Sí. <laughs> okay. Man, thank you for being here. I'm sorry that you're missing it. It's okay. Hey, send some send some pictures later. Okay, maybe I, I will go <laughs> after the class. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, if you heard the story, what was the story about? What was Andres' story about? It's a true fact, actually. Somebody, what was Andres' story about? Talk to me, Jose Alberto, Irene, Ada, Erwin, Yuri, Heidi, Antonio, Suleima. Suleima, by the way, please stay 10 minutes with me after the class, would you? Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, Sandra, everybody, what, what was Andres' story about? Teacher, the group with the Irene and Fernando and Josue. No, 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 I was asking you if you oh. understood Andres' story. Ah, sorry, teacher. No, okay, Andres was talking about uh, 1989, 1979 uh, football game, football war, the football war between El Salvador and Honduras. 
Right, Andres? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's because of a football match, everything went to hell. Actually, um, in case you didn't know, the Sika, well, it, back then in 1969 or yeah, somewhere like that, there was a Mercado Común Centroamericano, a common Central American marketplace, common Central American marketplace. And that later was going to transition into Sica, Sistema Integración Centroamericano. But they say that due to this football match, due to this short war, you know, 100 hours war, um, Central America was divided again. And guess, guess who started thinking about joining Central America in one whole country? Which country started the thought of becoming a, a unique country? You know? It's general culture. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It was us. El Salvador had the idea of creating el mercado común centroamericano. We were the precursors, the fathers of that idea. But thanks to the war, you know, we didn't continue with the idea. And then Sika came. Okay, let's go with the second group. That was nice, very good. Thank you. Uh, Fernando, Irene, Josue, Judy, and Wendy. Hey teacher, I read the story. The story. Okay, I have a soccer a soccer play today. I want to win the next soccer match. We have the soccer field is going to be water. If we win the so the soccer match, we call claim to the field's place. Our fans will be painting with our colors they are going to join join us to support us all the time and we will blend we will have our better goal hunt on the soccer field we must win because we have justified all the money spent paying referee every sunday before the play we need to prepare prepare the soccer field to the match cleaning the soccer field and whipping the blincher. I can, I can I will, feel. Great job. I was able to understand. Let's see, Sandra, what was the story about? Sorry, teacher, I know the listen uh, the story the Wendy. <laughs> I didn't listen Wendy's story. Okay, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Okay, I didn't listen. I didn't I wasn't listening. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Um well, Fernando explain to me paraphrase what was your story about? Uh, we uh, <laughs> we went to express when in my case I I play soccer every Sunday and uh, we describe when this we describe the next soccer play where for, for example for example uh, if we will we if we win the soccer play the soccer play uh, we we are going to climb to the first place um, mm -hmm. uh, we have fans ghost fans. <laughs> And that fans uh, are painting with our colors. Mm. And if it is necessary, we will bleed for winning that this match. For winning this match. Okay, good job. <laughs> okay, you say soccer match. Soccer match. Mm -hmm. And you say the fans are going to cheer us up, to cheer us up. You know, you know the phrasal verb, right? Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer, cheer up. No, I didn't know. 
you know cheerleaders? Cheerleaders, yes. Okay, have you seen ah. have you seen the of longest course. the longest yard with Adam Sandler? Yes. You remember the cheerleaders? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I <laughs> okay. I made you laugh. Okay. That was good. Okay. Thank you. That was a nice story, guys. Number three, we have Irwin, Johnny, Jose Antonio, Sandra, and William. Hmm. Again, we have Irwin, Johnny, Jose Antonio, Sandra, and William. No? Okay. Let's go with the last group, group number four. Alexander, Andres, Luis, and Rene, if you want. Again. Yeah, let's go. Can you raise me out? Hello, what? Hello. Hello, guys. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay, next group. Who wants to continue? Oh, I was going backwards, right? Yes. Calm down. Ada, Heidi, Miguel, Jocelyn, and Selena. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I, I can to read the story. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I won uh, the lottery and uh, I lost the ticket when I was watering the plants. Therefore, I climbed uh, the stairs looking for a better view and tried to find it. But uh, I lost control and as a consequence, I fell down. Consequently, my knee started to bleed. As a result, all the floor painted with my blood and I took a white towel to absorb the blood. And my son joined me to clean up the floor. Where, while we were cleaning, my cat was hunting a mouse and I was so angry with the cat by my son justifying him. At the end, I decided to sweep all the house until find the lottery ticket. Hey, that was amazing. Hey, good job. You just say took, took, took. I took a white towel. Okay, I think that was good actually. Uh, okay, super quick. Uh, un paréntesis antes de pasar el listado. Fíjense que ahora estaba pensando eh, un alumno de básico dos que Está desesperado por aprender inglés. Me decía, teacher, ¿cómo hago? ¿Cómo hago? Porque yo, yo entiendo. Yo entiendo cuando me hablan. Yo um, cuando escucho entiendo. Um, lo escribo, lo escribo. Ok, entiendo la gramática y todo, pero hablarlo no, no me sale. Y, y el problema es que uh, sobre, sobre pienso. You know what is overthinking, right? Overthinking, repensar. Él repensa mucho lo que quiere decir. Entonces se me ocurrió aplicar algo y, y, y hoy me contó que sí le ha funcionado, que, que es, um, tú decís cualquier cosa todos los días, ¿no? O sea, empezar a, anal a analizar lo que estás diciendo. To start analyzing what you're saying. Escucharte a ti mismo. Listen to yourself. Y luego tratar de traducir lo que estaba diciendo. And then try to translate what you were saying. You don't need a dictionary. No necesitas un diccionario. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Este, ahorita ya lo estoy haciendo, pero a este nivel que estás en intermedio 4, ya podés y debes de hacer esto. Ojo, eh. A este punto tú ya tenés que empezar a, a escucharte a ti mismo en español y luchar por uh, tratar de, de traducir las cosas así momentáneamente, para ver cuáles son tus áreas de oportunidad y decirte, hey, hombre, si eso ya lo vi, ya, te vas a empezar a criticar a ti mismo, uno, dos, cuando tu pez 
con el disco duro te tope y digas, híjole, ya no, no, ya no vi cómo se traduce esto, lo voy a buscar en el traductor. Lo buscas en el traductor, pones la frase completa en español y ojo, eh, este ejercicio te va a ayudar a identificar qué tan mal hablas español. Te vas a dar cuenta de que escribís V en lugar de B, que le pones H a, a hasta o no, no va, ¿ya? Es un ejercicio increíble, te digo, le está funcionando, a pesar de que él es de, de, ¿cómo se dice? De baja escolaridad, pero le está ayudando mucho a aterrizar muchas ideas que vio en su tiempo de escuela y está mayor. Y pues, funciona, ¿eh? Funciona. So, si aún te sentís trabado ahorita que estás entre medio cuatro, intenta esto. Habla en español, traducite inmediatamente, recordá lo que estaba diciendo. Mm. Okay. No te frustres, te vas a dar reír de verdad. Ok, it works, it works. Ok, like that, it's a great idea. Teacher. Wait. Hey. Uh, my group. Yep. Uh, can I speak? You were missing, right? Yeah, I knew yeah. it. Ok, the maintenance of the house is difficult. One can paint and try to repair it or to fix it. House cleaning is complicated must be constantly, one must always sweep. The repair of the house, such as the leaks and plumbing, one must know how to do them. Only that. It's a complicated to have a house. <laughs> it's a complicated thing. It's a yeah. complicated thing to have a house. It's a yes. complicated to have a house. And the bigger the house, the more complicated it is, the more expensive it is. Hey, here when you say maintenance. Maintenance, yes. Maintenance. Main, oh, sorry. How pronounce maintenance? There you go. Maintenance. You got it. Okay, you got it. yes. You got Maintenance. it. Okay. Maintenance. Let me do the attendance again so we can move on with today's topic. Uh, you're doing it already. Okay. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ok, Andrés Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Johnny Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Sergio Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana, sorry, that's just the main expression. Roberto Luis Omeña de Llana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Are you sick, Josie? Oh, yes. My yes. voice? Yeah. No, you, you yes. sound and you look tired. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh. You have no idea how extenuated I am. I'm not, I'm not tired. I'm not exhausted. I'm just extenuated. It's like, do you know how burned. you feel? Not burned. It's not burned like I want to fall asleep. No, it's just my brain is floating inside my head. 
you know, I've been through so much today because I'm on a training at work. So I started working at 5 a.m. and I just stopped for 30 minutes. And those 30 minutes were to drive from my first job to the academy. Oh, and the other 30 minutes to drive from the academy to my house to be here with you. So it's an hour. Since 5 a.m. I've been awake. Tomorrow is gonna be the same routine and Friday and Saturday as well. So but but oh, it's, it's the last part, mm -hmm. it's the last part of the year. So ah, it's okay. So I'm happy because there's a lot of work. After the quarantine, after the quarantine, I learned that I have to be thankful for being alive and having a work, you know, having a job. Because I spent six months without a job, without a penny, without a penny. I was, I don't know how, to be honest with you. That's pretty crazy. Haiti, did you work at the bank during the quarantine? Of course, I never stopped. You never stopped, right? Same thing. Wow. When, no, I um, I went on vacations from uh, on February to March, and because I, I I traveled, but since I came back, I didn't stop working. You never stopped. Oh, Not God. even a day. I think all of us, right? All of you guys, you were working. They're, not all of the companies stopped operations, I think. And well, we're alive and we're here. And I wanted to say thank you for being here again. Like every other night, we have a good audience today. So tonight, we're going to start gathering some vocabulary. I'm going to send you a video. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. I mean, it's a lecturing, actually. And you have to prepare a small presentation about some topics. It's just six topics on your book is a link that is on your book about warehousing. Hold on. It's called the six key factors of warehousing. Six primary warehouse processes and how to optim optimize them. How to optimize them. So we're going to look at the first uh, four at the first four uh, processes and how to optimize them. I like this because other than the vocabulary, it's what I told you yesterday about reengineering process, reengineering reinventing how to do things in the better way. Okay, so I'm just gonna split you right now and just let you know what's your topic right now. Hold on, we have four groups. Yeah, we gotta be four groups. Okay, so the first group is composed. First group, Caroline, Irene, Johnny, Miguel, and William Alexander. That's the first group you have. Therefore, you have the first topic, okay? I'm just gonna send it to you. You have the first topic. This is very short, it's not that long. Just a minute. There you go. So you have the topic on your WhatsApp. And you have group number one, Carolina, Irene, Johnny, Miguel, and Will. Group number two, Andres, Irwin, Fernando, Heidi, and Ren Alfonso. Again, group number two, Andres, Irwin, Fernando, Heidi, and Ren Alfonso. And you have the second topic on the list. Okay. Group number three, Judy, Luis, Sandra, Jocelyn, and Suleyma. I repeat, Judy, Luis, Sandra, Jocelyn, and Suleyma. We have topping number three, okay? And topic number four goes for the rest. Ada, Alexander, Jose Antonio, and Wendy. That's topic number four. Ada, Alexander, Jose Antonio, and Wendy. Okay, just prepare something for the class. Just explain in your own words. And if you find any new words, share it. Go ahead.
Who are you? The first topic is. Receiving. Receiving. I don't know if someone wants to read. Hey, Caroline, hey, would you like to wear the topic? Okay, wait. Uh, receiving, um, yeah. Receiving is the first warehouse process and one of the most crucial to perform the receiver receiving process properly. The warehouse should be able to verify that it has that it has received the right product in the right quantity quantity in the right condition in at the right time. Failing to do so will have consequent impacts in, in all subsequent operations. Receiving also involves the transfers of responsibility for the goods to the warehouse, displays accountability on the warehouse for maintaining the condition of the goods until they are shipped. Properly receiving cargo will allow, allow you to filter out damaged goods, damaged goods and avoid liability for them. The next part, how to optimize. How to optimize the the aim of the optimize optimizing the warehouse receiving process is to receive cargo efficiently and correctly and to avoid accumulation at the receiving receiving docks solutions such as power pallets trucks and conveyors will allow you to unload cargo and clear dock areas faster and more efficiently. In addition, dimensioners automate the capture of, the, of weight and dimensions of parcels and pallets to accelerate your receiving processing and obtain certified measurements. Finally, software, software such as labor management system and the scheduler allow, allow you to properly allocate the right amount of personnel by a cultural, culturally anticipating upcoming shipments. Thank you. What did you got it? <laughs> mm. Receiving our topic, right? Yeah. Or not? Yes, yeah, receiving is the first step of the six fundamental warehouse processes. I understand. Receiving. Um, According to the, to the article, receiving is the first step about the processes in the warehouse, such as, as in the company that I am working right now, um, there, are, there is a person who is, who is, is named receiving. This, this position is named receiving. This person 
is responsible to receive all the orders, all the documents about the product or orders about purchase. And he's always um, receiving uh, to the he always is talking with the providers, providers about the, the products that, uh, that, they, that, that they need to receive. And this, this step is so important for every company because it is necessary to be on time and ha has quality and good control to do the first step for the process. I think. <laughs> perfect, perfect. But... Uh, the process to receive it is the bit bit responsibility big responsibility big responsibility and you look because, better Johnny. yeah <laughs> it's better awesome. okay pick it up get it up because uh, had to relation with the condition the problem Okay, I guess you're preparing by yourselves each part of the topic to see that. Yes, we are reading and not understanding. We are reading and not the understanding? Or under yes, no, no, understanding <laughs> the fragment of, of the article. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Put away. The when they refers, they refer to to a dog. It's like a a muelle or okay. Yeah, you got it. Do you know what does it mean that word teacher? Slotting. Slotting. What what does it say? Where does it say that? 
it says that software such as slotting and space management systems. Slotting, ranurado. Is that part of the process? Of opening little holes, right? Teacher is coming. The teacher is like coming now. Winter is coming. Teacher, we couldn't um, share the screen and we want to make the presentation. Oh, okay, good. Let me open it right now. Okay. There you go. Hey, guys. Um, okay. Um, yum, 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 yum. I do the presentation today, and I was I, I want to use that idea. Okay. Only, but I don't know if you agree. Okay. We only know how to replace the, the information with the uh, uh, bullet. The bullet points. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you want. Yes. Okay. Okay. First, finish the um, introduction. Teacher, we don't have a video to see, right? No. Okay. Okay. And we store this. Teacher, hey, uh, we can't uh, share. Share, yes, teacher. Yes, you, yes, you can now. Okay, uh, it, we don't make a presentation too. Yeah, if no. you want, if you want, you can do it. That is not okay. necessary. Only, only explain. Just explain. Okay, teacher. Good, good. Keep it up. Good. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
<clears throat> okay, in six minutes we go back and explain. Okay. We did it, fin uh, Fisher. You're done? Yes, it's done. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to read or talk? Uh, Johnny, we with you. Irene. <laughs> Irene, Irene is, is done. Hi, Bori. What? Johnny. <laughs> Irene and Carolina are the they're the, the, the assigned students, okay. No, Johnny, hashtag we are Johnny. Jo <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hashtag we're Johnny. Um what do you call a cow with no legs? What do you call a cow with no legs? Just talking. Hmm? No, what do you call? Como le llamas? Ah, okay. What do, call... <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? No legs. No legs. Paralytic. <laughs> you know? No. Okay. Ground beef. Ground, Ground beef. beef. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's a game of words. Come on. Ground beef. Yeah. Carne en el suelo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh. That's a, a it's a clean joke. Come on. Paria, no. Okay, let's go back, guys. Clean joke. Quack,
It's so funny. Come on, guys. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm that kind of weird person. I don't know if you, but I'm that kind of weird person that likes or loves to be really tired, you know. And, and I love to feel... I love to feel my last, my last resource, you know, my last energy. How my I, I like to feel to get that feeling on my back, on the back of my brain when your brain goes like, dude, I'm dying. This is the last energy I got. Go. I don't know. Is it something weird? Have you ever have you ever got that feeling before? And you're so tired that your brain goes like, this is an idea. Here you go. Do this. You know, it's very impressive. Your brain is very powerful. She didn't know that. But yet, you are still crying for your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, right? Come on. Guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. You're better than that. Rocky. Rocky said that. Okay. Yeah. I go hyper when I'm tired. I'm sorry. So let's see, Caroline, Irene, Johnny, Mike, and William. First topic, ready? <laughs> well, the first topic is receiving. Receiving uh, Receiving is the first warehouse process and uh, one of the most crucial. Mm to for receiving process the warehouse should be able to verify that it has received the right product um for example when the client the shipping shipping companies indicate that the, the document documentation is ready and that the in the that the download can process like cargo cargo manifest manifest uh, documents and the download or goods declaration invoice something like that um the the aim of optimizing the warehouse receiving processes Process is to receive cargo efficiently and correctly, and to avoid accum some like accumulation of the receiving docks. Mm, like like solutions as pallet trucks and conveyors. And it's important it has received the right product, like the right product and the right condition. Uh, the time uh, is another, um, and the right quantity too. And times are very important because if they take longer that they should um how do you say multas they can incur Fine. fines thank you excellent okay you want to add something with it Okay, that's it? Okay. Yeah, we, we had receiving. Okay, let's go with the second part. 
Andrés, Giovanni, Irwin, Fernando, Heidi, and René. Uh, okay, well, our topic uh, was put away. Uh, the second, uh, the second process, uh, and in this, this fragment of, in this step, or uh, mention that the the goods uh, have to have to receive and place or put away uh, in the right with the most ideal or an optimal storage location uh, signs uh, the the dock to the to the location uh, which if you don't don't put away uh, the most in the most optimal warehouse or location you you can you could uh, you could have problems with the warehouse operation. And if you put away properly, you have some benefits like uh, more, more efficiently, uh, the travel time is minimized, uh, safety of the gods, and warehouse space utilization uh, max is maximi maximized. So, the, the, the focus is uh, you have to optimize and put away the, the their pro your products in, in the most optimal or ideal location. Excellent. There are synonyms for that, for step of the process. Uh, you can say phase, in this phase, in this stage, in this step of the process. Okay. Phase Theme. or a stage? Stage, phase, step okay. of the process. Uh, fee, fast, efficient, and effective manner. Fast, efficient, and effective way of doing things. Don't forget fee, fast, effective, and efficient. Excellent. Anybody else wants to add something else? No. Okay, I have a question for you two guys uh, regarding uh, receiving and regarding put away. What are the risks? What are the risks on these two processes on receiving and putting away? Everybody, the whole class, what are the risks on these stages of the process of storing? Gathering, gathering bad, bad information. Gathering bad information when you receive the product. Yeah. yeah. And totally. then you put away in the bad location. You put things on the bad location on the bad place. Totally. That's right. And so. with and receive bad products too because for example in the first step receiving if the person receive um, wrong products affect immediately impacts to the next process to the next step totally. Totally. i mean it, it affects the whole chain right the counting yeah. costs everything Timing, timing, which Caroline was saying, that timing is important too. Thank you, great job. Group number three, Judy, Luis, Sandra, Jocelyn, and Suleyma. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was talking to myself in my presentation, right? Okay. 
Uh, we are going to talk about the storage. The storage is a warehouse process in which goods are placed into their most appropriate storage space. Um, the storage process uh, maximizes the available space in your warehouse and increase the labor efficiency. So the introduction about the storage increases the labor efficiency, right? Okay. Um, talking about uh, optimization, how to optimize the warehouse, it's very important to consider about the right KPIs are properly tracked. And you need to know the indicator that you will need to use for tracking about the process. And having a system and software design the good process is the first step to improve the warehouse storage system. And you need a software to help you for um, calculate the information about the KPIs, for example, and other things. <clears throat> and then warehouse storage system according to the products. It's important to know about uh, the mix of your products. Uh, if you have a different kind of product, different kind of measures, the products you need to consider for um, a design, a system, and then maximize your horizontal and vertical space while improving warehouse efficiency. Uh, it depends the, the uh, inventory system that you will use, for example, FIFO or LIFO, uh, you need to consider where the food uh, will be um, the storage in the racks. Every space is important for uh, taking the um, goods when you are going to use or deliver it. And that's all, teacher. Excellent. Just repeat, KPIs. KPIs. KPIs, key performance indicators. KPIs. Yep. Repeat, tracked. 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 There you go, track. Efficiency, uh, you were saying efficiently, uh, efficiency. And uh, to okay. improving warehouse efficiency. Hey, that's important. Uh, many, many warehouses don't have good space util utilization. The way they are built is just a flat floor, but the aerial space, the aerial space is not used. Right? That's a common problem. Yes. Good job. Okay. Thank you, Luis. That was really good. Okay. And I think we're missing one more group, right? Yeah. And Ada, Alexander, Jose Antonio, and Gwen. On the first uh, method, uh, the packing is the warehouse processes that they consolidated. The Picket items in the sales order and then prepares the for the shipment to the customer. Since size is the cost, is a much as um, 65% and increase your warehouse effective of the total the operation. Um, and the optimized the method is the Packing is introducing the, the right technologies and, for example, the mobiles and software. Okay. 
Okay, um, in this context, as my partner said, in this case, how to optimize, one of the ways to optimize the picking process is introducing the right technologies, technologies such as mobile and wearables can streamline the picking process because they allow to do different activities, but what is the difference between them? For example, if you use mobile technologies, you need to carry on that technologies, which has hand scanner, tablets, uh, smartphone, things like that. But if you use wearables technology, you can be as efficient as you can. For example, this technology and is um, called hand-free. For example, you need to put on your body, in, for example, your wrist, your head, your face, such as smart glasses or um, the stopwatch. I, I remember, if I remember correctly, is a stopwatch. Stop and yeah, this allows to you to do other activities that requires using your hands. For example, picking, 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 packing, and loading material, right? Um, that is the, the difference between them, but this technology interacts with your system in real time, anytime, anywhere, right? That's it. Awesome, okay. Yes, guys, in the end, uh, this is all about introducing technology on each step of the process, each stage of the warehouse management process. It's not just about storing, you know. I don't know if you have tried at home to reorganize a room or maybe your living room. Because out of the sudden, you go like, ah, I don't like this living room. Maybe if I move the TV to this side and I move this sofa to the other side and I remove the kids from here. Yeah, and just start moving things around. But sometimes things don't fit. Things don't fit on those positions. Or you may have, listen, you may have a water leak and you don't know. The same thing happens with the warehouse. And the next stage, stage number five, talks about packing. Now, packing is important. Packing is important because if you use the wrong material to pack your product, you may be increasing the cost of the product, but you don't know. Or you know, and you don't care. Mm, that's wrong. You're wasting money if you use very expensive packaging material. And even worse, one of the risks is to, to apply very inexpensive packing material. Number two, uh, if you want to optimize the packing process, you have to stop using your personal to do the packaging, you know, of the product. And you should start uh, using a machine. Nowadays, there are machines that help you pack in, you know, the products. Yeah. And this whole this whole reading is about uh, introducing technology again to these processes. And the last the last uh, stage is shipping and that's the final warehouse process it's the last thing that they will do shipping um only if the right order is sorted and loaded i mean this is a successful process only if you finish the order and put it on the truck or you know the transportation right on time as Irwin says so much just in time Right, shipping 
is very tied to um, the timing, the timing, what Caroline was saying. I think that's very important. And how do you optimize shipping? The video we saw yesterday, I think, or the day before yesterday, about adding a GPS to the product, you know, a scanning, you know, barcodes, all of that technology is really good. And it helps a lot, a lot. I remember, and this is the whole point of this class. Do you remember how we used to punch in before? We used to punch in with a puncher, right? Did you use a puncher? You remember the punchers at your job? You had you had a, a, a cardboard, cardboard like a sampler. Card. sampler, yeah. But this uh, puncher, it was that. It was a puncher, you know, a thing that used to make holes on your little cardboard that had your name on it just to check at what time you got in. That was crazy. And now, I don't have it here. And now we use, we use little cards, you know, plastic cards, and you go like, Toop. Toop. or how do, you, how do you call this? How do you call this? Some. A finger. Fingerprint. Now you use fingerprint readers. Fingerprint readers. That's crazy. Technology has gone really far. Okay, let's, let's do our last activity together. Guys, turn on your cameras. I feel I'm talking to myself. Don't let me down. You're conscious. My subconsciousness, okay. So we read about these processes. Let's compare them with your book. This is page, this is page 29. Exercise seven, exercise seven, page 29. Okay, page 29. Let's match each item. I think we oh, didn't have it yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so let's match the words. The first one is, your orders must be packed in the right packaging, complete with accurate content slip and added to a delivery manifest or dispatch. What will it be? Packing. Packing. Ya dice el público. Let's packing. Yeah. Packing. Uh, I'll go with you. Yeah. I'll go with you on that one, Haiti. Yeah. Let's pack in. Why? Because do you know what's the meaning of sleep as as a lip? What's sleep? What's sleep? Yeah. It's Spanish. Yeah. What? No. Oh, yeah. That could be a verb too. Thank you. As a verb, it means to uh, yeah, slide on your feet, to trip and fall. That's true. Slap, slide, slip. Okay. But as a noun, what is what is it as a noun in this context? Accurate content, slip. Okay. Do they give you a payment slip every time they pay you? You receive a payment slip? Uh It's a piece of paper, guys. A piece of paper with the breakdown of your payment. And in this context, the payment, the breakdown of the items on the package. Okay. Next, these goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order. And the information, I'm sorry, and the information has to be locked against the, cons, the customer's account. Okay. 
these goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the customer's account. Managing returns. Managing returns. Speaking. Speaking. Yes, yeah, speaking. But it says unloading. Yeah, it's unloading and it is against the customer's account. You sure? When do you unload a vehicle, a truck? You take the merchandise off the vehicle, right? It's gone. Hmm? That's unloading. And then check off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the customer's account. Okay. So you think it's, it's speaking or is it inbound process? Let's continue, let's see. Items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins as packed for dispatch without further storage. No idea. Maybe okay. mm -hmm. speaking. That is speaking. I will say so. Yeah, it sounds like speaking. Correct me. Okay. Definitely it will be speaking. Okay. Okay. It must be easy for your pickers to find items, and their journey time between items and between orders should be. Easy. Inbound. Mm, inbound processes inbound processes i think we are misunderstanding the concept of picking items uh, it must be easy for your pickers to find items Is layout and slotting. Layout and slot and slotting. We'll see. I'm gonna leave this for today, guys. Um, you can check it, study it, find sense, do a little research so we can discuss it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. This is page 29, and there are some still are still some vocabulary, you know, words that we need to use. And again, I remind you to use the dictionary that I send you. I think that's very useful. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Será que estos días se sienten tan cansados, verdad? ¿No les pasa? Okay, guys. Let's go. Have, let's have some rest. I'm staying with Sleima tonight. Um, recordándole de nuevo, el papeleo se termina esta, este viernes. Es el último día para recibir su documentación para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Y les recordándoles también, ya casi terminamos. Terminamos el 17, el próximo viernes. Eh, avanzar con la plataforma, ya que el viernes pues ya tenemos que tener la unidad 3 terminada. Y I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. The class lasts two hours. Please try to be on time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Katie Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present, good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. 
Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz de Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night, Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. And Jocelyn Melda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Have some rest. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Fer. Fair. Fair is frozen. Do you have a pet? Two pets. That's one of them? Yeah. Really? Yeah, is this it, is, is Peter. Pepe? Peter. Peter. He's my partner. He is always with me in the English classes. <laughs> I think, are we talking about the cricket? No. I was talking about the cricket. No, I oh. was talking about Peter, my dog. The one in the background, is that for real? Is that your dog? Yeah, it's my dog. That's so beautiful. How old, how old is he? Um, 10 months. 10 months. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, okay. And you have, you have two? Yeah. What's the I one? have a, a chubby sleeping <laughs> in the sofa. <laughs> Are those he small is, dogs? He, yeah. Um, Peter is uh, in the middle. And Chubby is a, a small dog, he's a French. French and dog. he is, yeah, he is uh, one year with eight months. A year and eight months. He's a year and eight months old. Okay, so he's 20 months old. <laughs> mm -hmm. 20 months and three days old. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just dogs? You don't have any other pets? No. Wait, no, it's. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say that. I know. Who said that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was the wine. It was the wine or the wind? Ah, the wind. Oh, the wind. What wine? Uh huh. Why? I, I, didn't, I didn't like. I don't like the wine. Me neither. That taste, I don't know, maybe with some. Nah, no, no, I don't like it. I like sweet, it's, sweet things. Yeah, uh, but you can cook with wine. Yeah, that's true. And beer, Coke. Mm -hmm. um, did you try the beer with wine? No, you don't do that. There are, there are really delicious beer mm -hmm. with wine. Wait. But you have to cook them. Wait, beer and wine? Be no, beer. Oh. Beer. Beer, the fruit. Yeah, the fruit. How do you cook the beer? Um, you have to peel off the, the pears. Mm -hmm. And in the, I don't know how to say, in, oh yeah. In the open, the uh, skillet? Uh-huh. Pan skillet. Uh, yeah, uh, you put them, but uh, you don't have to cook them, only peel off. And you add uh, cinnamon, sugar, some sugar, and a, bottle, a little bottle of wine. And you have to cook them for around 30 minutes. 40. And that's it. Okay, How, what's the taste? Really delicious. Wait, but is that a drink? 
a beverage? It's not a beverage. It's a um, it's a the, dessert. The pier. Does the pier turn some sort of red if you use red some wine? Some purple. Some purple. Oh. For the color of the wine. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm, mm -hmm. So you use tinto. Yeah, tinto. Mm. Tinto. Interesting. Mm. I like I like the the tea, but I think it's not for all the people. Have you ever tried Bailey's? No. Never tried Bailey's. Do you like sweet like... sweet things? Coffee? Yeah. Okay. I prefer I prefer the sweet things that salty things. Me too. Me too. I re really do prefer sweet things. That's why I love Bailey's. Bailey's is a mixture of it's a mixture of uh, milk, let's say, but it's Irish Irish cream Irish cream with whiskey and some other things. But it's delicious I and mean, it's some is sort it of. Is, is it expensive? Mm, sort of a little bit and and yeah it's, it's a small bottle it's like it's like, like rum pope it's sort of rum pope yeah it's some kind of rum pope but it's more delicious and mm -hmm. of course you put in a small glass you know you put like five five um ice ice squares ice, ice cubes. cubes ice cubes thank you and you put a little bit of it a little bit of uh Bailey's, and you just go waiting for the ice to melt. It's delicious. I don't I drink. I don't it. drink. Yeah. I, I, so I was wondering what will happen if you combine that with peers? Mm. Mm, um, mm. I, I received a bottle of wine, uh, but I, I don't like to drink wine. So I thought, mm, what can I do with a bottle of wine? And I like desserts and I search uh, for a recipe in the YouTube. And I found it and I tried it. That's really good. Have you been practicing? What? Have you been practicing? Uh, I try. Hmm. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing good. You're doing really good. Um, I just wondered, have you tried reading something difficult? Mm, no. Like I only something? watch watch uh, movies, um, songs. Um, try to talk with people that <laughs> is studying, is studying like like me, but that's all. And I try to. Um, well, uh, for example, if I um, have to do any activity, uh, I try to explain that activity in my head, but that's mm. all. Hold on, let me try to do something here on this thing. Uh, yeah. I know this may sound crazy, but let's give it a try. Can you try to read this? Make it bigger if you want. And just give it a try. Okay. I will. <laughs> try to read as clear and fast as possible. Okay. An end user license agreement is a license that gives the user the right to use an application. It details how, this, how the software application can be used, as well as explains any restrictions. Most end user license agreements, for example, prohibit the end user from sharing or distributing the software in any way that benefits the buyer rather than the original creator before you can download and install any type of software application you usually are required to read 
and agree to a user license. Once of the user opens the software installer, the, uh, I don't know what it is. ULA. ULA. ULA typically must be signed digitally or the installation cannot be completed. Amazing. You got it. You got it. Ooh. Prohibit or prohibit? I don't know. Prohibit. 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 Yeah. Hey, good job. Download. 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 In my opinion, you will be ready to get a job. Mm. Just need a little I bit try. more confidence, you know, try to read a little bit more. E the endings. Yeah. The endings. That's that's a weakness that I have to improve because uh, it's difficult to learn about all the words, um, the you pronunciation. Never, you, know, you just have to practice. That's all. So that's all. I'll talk to you later, and okay. we'll see what we can do. I mean, if, are you where? Where are you working? Uh, I wore it for the blue. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll text you tomorrow so we can have a conversation, okay? Okay, teacher. Oops. Thank you a some lot. Some work. Good uh, night. Your effort <laughs> and your patience. <laughs> Thank you. You're very same, kind. Same to you. And don't, worry, you don't, don't worry, you are very young. So the important thing is uh, what you feel. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. So take care. Thank you. Take care.